22 years after the military invasion of Odi town in Bayelsa state, a correspondent, Joseph Kunde, pays a visit to the town to see how much of recovery has taken place. Odi is one of the largest towns in the Kolokoma Pokuma Council area of present-day Bayelsa state, currently with a population of 15,000 that used to be known for its social status. Although once known for being vocal in the agitations for resource control, it cannot put behind the military invasion of 1999. Before the massacre, 12 policemen were murdered by a gang near Odi, seven on the 4th and the remainder in the following days. In retaliation, the military decided to invade the town. Prior to this uh, uh, invasion, I was invited by the then Commissioner of Police. I uh, went there and he, and he told me that uh, my youths were holding 12 of his policemen captive. Um, so he needed me to release them. And so I went to the policeman to OD and I saw the youth. Well armed, very angry. Unfortunately, um, somehow, somehow, uh, the policemen were killed. And of course, the understanding was uh, that it was actually, it was not just with the people because then when we came on board, there was a place called Black Market in, um, in Bayelsa State. So when those who were dislodged, they all went to OD and caused this havoc. It was not with the people per se. And the military men invaded OT. They went for a full-scale war. The first gun is this town, this size. Everybody don't run from because that many people don't come. They come the warriors. Small time, they don't come. Quick, 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 quick. Now, wait till they get now. Say, when I don't keep Biafra shows us from my house. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. Then two warriors, so then warriors walk away. Don't let us rest. Not fit chop, not fit bridge. As then the warriors. 22 years after, we returned to a D. Although life has returned, commerce and infrastructure are still poor compared to what they used to be. Despite still being in ruins, one building that still caught the eye is the 15-bedroom mansion that was torched during the invasion. Aaron Leonard is the grandson of the owner of this building. It talks us through its importance. This building, when it was built, and even till now, I think, um, is the largest structure of this nature in this whole area. In fact, it was the first, the biggest, at its time, was the biggest building. It was a landmark. You know, when you want to talk about OD Town, then it was difficult to talk about OD Town without talk, talking about the Ikeba's mansion. The sad part about the structure came in 1999, where the invasion of the soldiers took place. Every building in the town except the bank, the Anglican church, and the health center were burned to the ground. That's why all of them brown finished from here to but if you can't resist time, be like say now, nah, a person not there for the time. The people who die, there are plenty of but I'm not going to uh, remember them again no, because that time I did young, I did for young, not because I don't go like this. I was told that canisters were thrown in to burn the place and it didn't burn up. And they came in, gathered all the furniture together and burnt everything. So you can imagine the kind of fissures, the kind of um, furniture that was here, the kind of antiques, because um, being someone who is in the Marines and his children were also in the military, this was like where they, they kept most of the things. So this was like a family museum, if you, if you want to call it that. So you can imagine everything burnt. A wild range of estimates has been given for the number of civilians killed. The government initially pegged it at 43, including eight soldiers, while some reports said 
2,500 civilians were killed. In February 2013, the Federal High Court in Pathakot ordered the federal government to pay 37.6 billion naira compensation to the people. But the case led to the payment of 15 billion naira as out-of-court settlement. The compensation that came from our former president, uh, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, he actually tried in terms of what was provided financially. So along the line, the money was now shared with those committee members, which did not occur well with the town. I will not say it was properly done, uh, but that, that uh, adverse effect is still telling on the people. What needs to be done now is for everyone to forgive each other, for all the people to forgive, put on a, a new start afresh, forgive everyone and let's come together, government or the people come together and let's see how we can rebuild this town and bring back the lost glory and restore Odi back. Most notable in present day Odi is the Federal Government College and the Bow Resources Development Center. The East West Road and the River Lawn are the boundaries of the Odi town. The bank of the river could be utilized as a tourist attraction as the town seeks to be reborn 22 years after the invasion. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, OD.